Hello everyone. In this video, uh, I am going to show you how to upgrade the Netscaler with the HFR. So we have two Netscaler in this infrastructure. So this is the primary one. Uh, this is the secondary one. So right now this is in the 13.1.4.43 uh, version. So we are going to upgrade to uh, 27.59 version. So for that uh, before what we need to do we need to just do the validation in the Netscaler so all are working fine or not like uh, virtual server status and then uh, uh, service group status and then uh, gateway status. So we have only one virtual server here and one service group then uh, just we need to validate that Citrix gateway also you can check the current uh, active ICS session from the primary we can see two users are connected right now okay so now the validation is uh, fine uh, now what we need to do we need to uh, upload the firmware into the netscaler so once it's done we need to take snapshot before performing the upgrade so now i will show you uh, okay first i will show you the hn node so we have two Netscaler in this infrastructure uh, right now we are in 41 that is the primary one and uh, we have another Netscaler that is the uh, 40 IP so this is the one this is the secondary one so first uh, we'll upload the firmware into the Netscaler by using WinSCP So 41 is the primary but uh, we need to do the upgrade on the secondary but now we can connect to primary and upload that uh, uh, firmware in the both the server. Yeah, for that to upload the firmware we need to go to ns install where ns install just create one folder like. the name you just keep the firmware name so this is a folder so we created one folder under this folder we need to upload the firmware so it will uh, paste it here so also now you can connect to other uh, Netscaler. To copy the firmware. So 40. We we'll just create the folder under NS install. open this folder just copy the firmware into that folder so it will take some time to uh, upload the file so once it's uploaded uh, we'll take snapshot and then we'll do uh, upgrading the Netscaler so now firmware has been uploaded in the both the Netscaler so now what we need to do post uploading that uh, firmware into the Netscaler we are going to take snapshot of the both the Netscaler before performing the upgrade uh, why because if anything happened we can revert the snapshot so just take the snapshot just keep the name before update like before update so once it's done uh, just go to primary uh, search backup so we need to uh, take the backup for this uh, Netscaler configuration uh, which includes like a license and a certificate details so before going for the upgrade we need to take the backup we need to take full backup so click backup so now just download and keep it somewhere like local or else any uh, shared drive just do the same in the secondary uh, Netscaler also
back up. Take full full backup. Just download. So this is done. So now what we need to do, we need to perform the update on the secondary Netscaler. For that, we need to disable that uh, sync. Also, we need to set the secondary server as a stay secondary status so for that just go to system and then high availability node just keep the server select action so not here edit so just disable this uh, synchronization and then stay secondary then click ok so you can see right uh, synchronous uh, state has been disabled also it's a stay secondary now go to primary uh, select a primary server edit so disable this sync ha sync and then keep it in stay primary click ok okay just refresh this one okay fine now save the configuration Okay, now just open the putty. We are not uh, going to perform the upgrade on the GUI level. We are going to do from uh, putty uh, application. So just connect to the secondary net scaler. Now we are going to perform the upgrade under secondary net scaler. Just connect the net scaler via putty. We are not going to upgrade the net scaler via GUI 992. Sorry, 40. 40 is a secondary now. Okay. Now you can also check here show HA node. So now here you can see the details like uh, 40. Uh, right now we connected to 40 server uh, that is a secondary. Also that uh, sync state has been disabled and the propagation also disabled. Now you can come here 41 is the primary also the node state is a stay primary. Also sync state has been disabled state. So now uh, go to shell and uh, we need to go to the directory where we had that uh, um, upgrade uh, firmware file cd so and then uh, we need to extract that uh, file Okay, sorry. Now it started uh, extracting that uh, firmware uh, file. So now the extraction has been completed. So we are going to install the firmware into the secondary Netscaler server. Just use this command. So it's asking us to uh, delete the old signature file and uh, kernel images. So we should not click yes. So select no. 
so now it started uh, upgrading the firmware in the secondary net scaler so it will take some time to complete the upgrade so once it's done uh, we need to reboot the server So now the installation has been completed you uh, we need to reboot the server just click yes so it will go for the reboot so it's rebooting now so once the reboot has been completed we can connect to the uh, secondary net scaler and then we can uh, make him uh, as a uh, primary and then uh, we can uh, start uh, testing it like uh, launching uh, any application from that uh, netscaler uh, gateway url see if it is working fine then we can do the same on the uh, other uh, netscaler server uh, which is currently on the primary so let's come up uh, post that we'll do the validation and then uh, we'll go to the other netscaler upgrade Just open putty. Also, you can try to connect the net scaler through GEO as well. Okay, we connected to the secondary uh, net scaler uh, which we did uh, upgraded. So just check the once it's uh, rebooted and uh, it's up, but just check the version. So now uh, this has been upgraded to uh, 27.59 version. In the primary, we have like a 4.43 version. Okay, so now just validate that um, virtual server status okay because uh, right now uh, the role uh, in uh, primary net scaler that's why it's showing uh, down here uh, just go to gateway and the uh, certificate sorry go to ssl and our certificate we have certificates and the CS certificate so we have so now what we need to do uh, just go to node okay just edit actively participate in HA okay fine they should be in a uh, disabled state only uh, like a grayed out why because uh, both the net scaler running on the different version so it will be auto disabled also we just go to primary so go to system and then uh, high availability go to nodes so select a primary edit just enabled actively participate in HA and that uh, suppose if it is enabled uh, we need to be unchecked because both the net scale is running on the different version also we did not tested the connectivity from the uh, secondary net scaler so it should be unchecked it should not be checked status otherwise it will make some mess okay just uh, make it as a enabled actively participate in HA because we are going to do the failover so that that um, secondary net scaler will be become a primary so that uh, we can do the access validation from the citrix gateway okay now selection go selection and force failover so now 41 became a primary so now you can do the validation also like uh, go to traffic management 
load balancing under virtual server you can see right now it's an up, uh, up state also in the service group it's uh, up and running fine go to cities gate pay and uh, ICA connection you can see that uh, two session also you can validate the new application launches from the URL just login Uh, go to page just launch the desktop once so desktop is launching fine now you can go to the net scaler we'll see one more additional session here just refresh this console so now you can see the three session so the secondary net scaler which we upgraded that is working fine now we can proceed the upgrade on the primary net scaler so validation is done so we'll go for uh, other net scaler upgrade and just go to putty just connect to that net scaler 141 So before that just check so HA node so now you can see so 41 is the secondary where we are going to upgrade the net scaler also you can see that uh, sync state uh, disabled and the propagation state is disabled and other node like uh, 40 which is the primary right now already we have upgraded also you can see the sync state auto disabled and the propagation is auto disabled uh, you need to make sure it should not be enable state otherwise it will uh, create any problem if anything goes wrong so we need to make sure uh, we have available space in the net scaler now we have 10 GB available space so now go to that uh, location and then extract that uh, firmware which we have uploaded one minute please so now it started extracting that um, firmware uh, uploaded file so once it's uh, extracted we can install that uh, firmware So now we need to install it. So click no. So it started uh, installing that uh, firmware which we uploaded. So once it's installed, uh, the net scaler will go to other uh, version like a 59, ending with the 59. So update has been completed, click reboot. Okay, now the net scaler is uh, up. You just connect to the 41 server so just log into the uh, 41 netscaler server and just check the version uh, so it's updated to 59 then go to traffic management virtual server fades up then SSL okay okay now what we need to do so we need to do the force failover from uh, primary server uh, so that uh, this netscaler will be uh, become a primary netscaler 
just go to uh, primary net scalar just do the uh, force failover so also we need to change the setting to uh, participate in HA so just select this one we need to change this one enable actively participate but it should be unchecked state okay now go to secondary high availability node just select this one edit okay this is in okay now click ok just do the force failover okay now click configuration but synchronization state is disabled state only post confirmation from the primary server then only we need to sync the configuration between both the net scaler just click save so now uh, this 40 server became a secondary uh, 41 server became a primary so now go to gateway and check the ICA connection so now it's there now go to just close this session go to ICA session so now you can see the new session here okay so now what we can do you just go to that um, high availability nodes now you can disable the enable the uh, synchronization state uh, between uh, both the net scaler fourth sync okay sorry the propagation is a disabled state let me enable it click ok so in other server also we need to enable click ok now you can So sync state has been successfully updated. Now save the configuration on the primary server. So we have updated the Citrix and its scale of firmware uh, successfully. Thank you.